ready to go at 50 below. That's the motto at Eielson Air Force Base where temperatures hit negative 50 degrees Fahrenheit in winter and soar to 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 26 degrees Celsius in summer. We have challenges just keeping that equipment running because it was never designed to work in temperatures that are so extreme. Fortunately for the Air Force, there's one thing that works great in cold weather, giant supercomputers. So believe it or not, the aircraft themselves, like you said, are supercomputers, right? Computers operate really well in the cold. However, the cold brings a lot of challenges as far as just taxiing aircraft on the flight line as well. Negative 40 below is quite the experience when it comes to tow jobs. Even touching metal outside burns your hands. Like, it's, it's absolutely insane. So here's one of the colder weather jackets here. And even with proper clothing, at about negative 20, air crews can only stay outside 10 minutes before having to warm up inside 50 minutes. So an hour's job takes six people, what would normally take one person to do in an hour. Spring and summer bring their own extremes. During our visit, falling snow turned the base into a swamp. The sound of pumps competing with the jet engines. We're looking at about just over 100,000 parts for the F-35. Lieutenant oh, Colonel Adam Starkey this runs logistics. Is, this has certainly been the most challenging job I've had in the Air Force. It's been a big learning curve putting F-35s in the Arctic and kind of figuring out what those challenges are. There's a saying everyone at Eielson knows from the godfather of the Air Force. In 1935, General Billy Mitchell told Congress, whoever holds Alaska will hold the world. I think it is the most important strategic place in the world. More than 85 years later, Eilson's expansion amid Arctic extremes illustrates how the state continues to be a linchpin of America's defense. Carla Babb, VOA News, Eilson Air Force Base, Alaska.